and a missing boy's parents appearing in court today, but it did not bring them any closer to finding their son. Sebastian Rogers disappeared from Hendersonville back in February. His family was in the courtroom today for a YouTuber accused of harassing and stalking Sebastian's mother and step grandparents. Now, in order of protection, banned Andra Griffin, who's also known as Bullhorn Betty, from having any sort of contact with the family, directly or indirectly. Court documents also claim she violated that. News 2's Caitlin Quisenberry was in the Sumner County courtroom to try to get both sides of this story. Sebastian Rogers, mother, stepfather, and step-grandparents have largely remained out of the media, but they claim Bullhorn Betty has stalked and harassed them. The courtroom was split today into two sides. The YouTuber and Sebastian's father, Seth, sat on one side. His mom, Katie, stepfather, Chris, and step-grandparents were on the other side. Court documents claim Bullhorn Betty violated the order of protection by mentioning the family on a live stream. The brief hearing ended with the judge saying the matters would be heard on October 10th. Seth Rogers tells me it was frustrating to sit in a courtroom while his son is still missing. It is extremely frustrating that I have to come here to support somebody, which I don't mind coming here to support somebody that's supporting my goal of finding my son. But the fact that I have to come here because two people, four people, I'm sorry, want to put restraining order against somebody who's just trying to find my son, and yet Sebastian is supposed to be her son as well. Seth added that he believes Andra is only exercising her First Amendment right and has not done anything illegal. I also spoke with Sebastian's stepfather, Chris Proudfoot, who says he has no comment at this time. In Gallatin, Caitlin Quisenberry, News 2.